Up next on Lion TV, we have Tristan with your line of the week, Parker and Josh with the story of illegally modified vehicles, and I'm Ashlyn Starks here to bring you your local weather updates. All that more Lion TV starts now. Good morning, Cersei High School. I'm Sammy D. And I'm Ashley here to get into some announcements. The last day to order your personalization on your 2020 line yearbook is January 31st. Go to joesteensyearbook.com to order. Everyone is invited to the second annual Cersei High School Multicultural Festival World Fair on February 4th from 5.30 to 7 in the cafeteria. Students and community members will display cultural diversity in Cersei through various country displays, crafts, performances, and more. The annual deadline to apply for the privately funded scholarship at A-State is quickly approaching. Students must apply by this Saturday on A-State's website. Students who are considering going to Paul Mitchell following graduation can apply for a $1,000 scholarship on their website. Mississippi State University is hosting their spring preview days on February 17th and March 23rd. Instead, interested students may, can go to previewday.msstate.edu for more information. The FBI is offering the Future Agent and Training Program. Interested students must be 16 to 19 years old by April 10th, have a GPA of 3.0 or higher, and be able to travel on their own to Fort Smith on April 10th, 17th, and 24th for the 8.30 to 4 o'clock program. The student cannot be involved in any criminal proceeding, not to include traffic violations. Let's send things over to Joshua Kermines with a package of our big toys. Car audio wise, I have two SCAR EVL 15s and a fourth order blow through. And uh, we got the Wolfram C2400 hooked up to that. And uh, hopefully, I can get some batteries in it and we'll do a new alternator and big three upgrade kit. I am known to wake everybody up. I'm there. 9.30 alarm clock. We're on through the parking lot. Shaking everything. I have 26 inch wheels on a 305-30 26 tire. Exhaust wise, I don't have that. There's no such thing. All I know of exhaust is two catalytic converters pointed to the ground. Looking into the future, I hope to put a little more power to the truck. We're going to do a big uh, three upgrade kit. We're going to put some batteries on the inside of here. Hopefully get a new alternator, push a little bit more amp hours. And uh, got to buy some more amps, got to run another C2400 to these. SCAR EVLs and I'm going to have to get another amp for the mids and highs coming through. I do have some super tweeters coming through. I don't have the pods yet so we should be getting loud there and uh, I'd like to have a new head unit for anything. Base brakes volume knobs and hopefully I can put an exhaust on here and hopefully get some tent going and uh, go to some bass competitions. Wow, I never knew how hard Yee Ying was. Thanks, boys. The edgy Advent pop album that siblings Billie Eilish and Phineas created in a small bedroom made a big splash at the 2020 Grammy Awards, winning 11 honors for the musical family. When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, created in the musician's Los Angeles home, helped Eilish win the top four honors, including album, song, and record of the year, along with the best new artist. The 18-year-old is the youngest artist to achieve the feat and, the, and first to do since Christopher Cross did in 1981. Phineas, who co-wrote, produced, and engineered the album, walked away as Sunday's top winner with six, and Eilish won five honors. After nearly 11 months in orbit, 
the astronaut holding the record for the longest space flight by a woman, can't wait to dig into some salsa and chips and swim and surf in the Gulf of Mexico. NASA astronaut Christina Koch told Associated Press on Tuesday her 319th consecutive day in space that taking part in the first all-female spacewalk was the highlight of her mission. She's been living on the International Space Station since March and returns to Earth on February 6, landing in Kazakh Kazakhstan with two colleagues aboard a Russian capsule. Police in North Little Rock say a house fire earlier this month is being investigated as a homicide. Firefighters responded to a blaze at a North Little Rock home early in the morning on January 18th. After the blaze was extinguished, firefighters found a, the body of a man. Police say the manner of death has been ruled as a homicide. The victim has been identified as a 32-year-old Joshua Dillon Watson. Police say the investigation is ongoing and the authorities are offering a reward for information leading to an arrest in the case. Let's send things over to Ashland to see what the weather is looking like for this week. Good afternoon, Cersei High School. I'm Ashland Starks. Let's get right into some weather. Today, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 43, rain at 40% chance, winds north-northeast at 8 miles per hour, humidity at 95%, and your sun rose at 7.08 a.m. on to tonight. Tonight, there will be some showers with a low of 35, rain at 20%, winds north-northeast at 7 miles per hour, humidity at 92%, and your sun will set at 5.32 p.m. onto the Almanac. Your monthly average temperatures, the high was 66 and the low was 22. Your monthly average of precipitation was 5.56 inches, and your month to date is 4.78 inches onto the five cast. Thursday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 34 with a 10% chance of rain. Friday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 51, a low of 36, and a 20% chance of rain. Saturday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 54, a low of 36, and a 10% chance of rain. Sunday, it'll be sunny with a high of 61, a low of 45, and a 0% chance of rain. Monday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 64, a low of 49, and a 10% chance of rain. Well, it looks like it's going to be kind of cloudy all week, but I'm excited that it's warming up. Well, I'm just glad that uh, it's not going to be 20 degrees every day anymore. I'm just, you know, we don't have to freeze. Yeah, I'm not built for the cold. Let's see what we're having for lunch. Mini beef hot dogs, hamburger, lettuce, tomato, and pickles, baked Cheetos, puffs broccoli, baked pear, baked, excuse me, baked beans, pears, and a variety of milk. Be sure to thank our gorgeous lunch ladies for their hard work preparing our gourmet meals. Now let's send it over to Tree Dog with your line of the week. What's up, Cersei High School? It's your boy Tree Dog back with Aiden Fitzpatrick. So how are you, Pat? I'm doing good. So when did you start wrestling? Uh, I started wrestling in the eighth grade. I did it because my brother was in wrestling and Coach Evans really wanted me to be in it. So you've been practicing or wrestling five years ago, that's insane, man. It's like, I know you gotta practice a lot, so like, what do you do in practice? Uh, we wrestle for about two hours, then the last hour we do conditioning, so that's um, really it. So, who do you like wrestle, like, unpractice? Who's a fun wrestler to wrestle, man? Uh, Landon Valdez or uh, Joe Delk. Yeah, I heard Landon got his, first, his 100th win, that's, that's crazy. Who's better, you or him? Landon is. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think, I, I think, I've seen some clips. I think you're a little bit better. I don't know. No, Landon, Landon got second at state last year, so I think he's better. Uh, what did you get at state? Uh, I got third as a sophomore. Dude, if you're third as a sophomore, imagine where you're going to be as a senior. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm hyped for it. Be so, good. All right, so like before a match, like you got, you're a nervous type, aren't you? Yes, I get, I get really nervous before my matches. Like, what do you do to like relieve some stress? Listen uh, to music. Yeah, I listen to music and I just get ready for my matches. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, I don't even know. Probably NF. Gucci man. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your favorite? Like, as a wrestler, you got like a favorite wrestling move. Like, what's your favorite wrestling move? Like, take him down quick and easy. Uh, <laughs> my favorite wrestling move is uh, it's a sweep. It's like whenever you just put your feet under him and push him. <laughs> and no, it's a uh, you ba you just like sweep around to the leg. And you just you just like pull them like pull their legs from under him pretty much, right? Yeah, you can see, you can <laughs> say that. <laughs> 
the after getting your 100th win like how hyped did you get i got really hyped it was at cersei duels and my parents were telling me he's like yeah you win this match you get 100 wins and all i was thinking about was uh how i'm gonna win this match was there a pretty good after party after yeah by myself I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I got one more question. Just to make things clear, WD, WWE and high school wrestling are pretty similar, right? No. Not at all? <laughs> Not at all. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, you heard it here. Once again, I'm Tristan Sieber with the Beast, Aiden Fitzpatrick. Let's send things back to the news desk. Thanks, Tree. Knowledge is power. Now let's send things over to Kali the Shepherd to find out what's happening in the world of sports. Good afternoon, Cersei High School. I'm Colin Shepard here to bring you your local and national sports updates. In local news, yesterday our Lions faced against Mountain Home. Sadly, we don't have those scores yet of that game. We talked to Freddie Hicks to get this statement on these upcoming basketball games. So far, the basketball season has been going good. We started conference play recently. And we're three and two right now, and look to make it four and two tonight. Looking on your Razorback news, the Razorbacks basketball team went against Texas Christian University, beating them 78 to 67. Today's game, the Razorbacks will be facing against South Carolina. Be sure not to miss our piggies. Beat them. In national news, sadly, Kobe Bryant passed away last week involving a helicopter crash. His 13-year-old daughter was on board as well as some of her teammates. Kobe and his daughter was on their way to the basketball, the daughter's basketball game. Many athletes have been devastated by this news, such as Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Well, Cersei, that about wraps it up for today. Send it back to the news desk. Thanks, Colin, for those updates. Well, that wraps up today's episode of Lion TV. If you missed any episodes, be sure to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Cersei High Lion TV. Also, you can go to CerseiLionPress.com to see Andrew Tyler with his story over new restaurants for the new year. And remember to follow us on our Twitter, at Lion TV, Instagram, at Cersei Lion TV, and Facebook, at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, as always, I'm Ashley Coker. And I'm Sammy D. See you on Friday.